Hi everyone and welcome back to Writing Tip of the Week. My name is Julie Stigmeyer and I work for the GSEP in Writing Support at Pepperdine University. Today we're going to talk about subject-verb agreement with irregular plural nouns. So what do I mean by irregular plural nouns? Well, a regular plural noun ends in an S, as you can see here. These are regular. But irregular would be something like this, where it's man and the A changes to E. There's some sort of internal or some other sort of change. So let me go through a few singular and plural forms and then we'll practice. So the first two are analysis and crisis. In the singular, you see they end in IS and the plural changes to ES. And then we have three other ones. You can see they all end in an A in the plural form, criteria, data, phenomena. And the singular form ends in either O-N or U-M. I chose the most common ones I could think of that might be academically related. And then you could see the last one is a syllabus, which ends in U-S, and then <clears throat> the plural ends in an I. I've used the pointers here to show the more common forms. So normally you'll hear criteria plural more than the singular and data plural more than datum singular, as well as phenomenon singular is usually more common. Let's practice. Would you say the datum or data from the study support the claim? Well, because our verb here is plural, we're going to choose data, the plural form. We witnessed an interesting phenomenon or phenomena when we were stargazing last night. Here your clue is an, so if you chose the on version, you're correct. Last one, students can view and contribute to class discussions, find links to syllabus or syllabi, and supplementary course materials. Because the context, everything in the context, everything is plural, we would probably choose the plural form syllabi here. Now it's time for our mini segment, Did You Know? Here are two spellings of a similar word, further and farther. They actually have slightly different meanings. Further is to advance a discussion or a conversation, something more abstract. Whereas farther, we use with physical distance. So look at these two examples. Could you explain that farther or further? In this case, we'd use further. In this case, it's farther to the airport from my house than from yours. That's all for this week's writing tip of the week. Next week, join me as we talk about writing with conciseness. If you have ideas for more tips, or you need writing support, please get in touch. Until next time, happy writing.